With keto being all the rage right now, a lot of people are starting to eat all kinds of cuts of meat, right? They're eating the dark meat, they're eating the white meat, and people are even starting to explore eating more of the organ meat. So let's dive in a little bit and talk about where organ meat comes into play on a ketogenic diet. Because believe it or not, it plays a huge role, and you can have some huge, huge, huge advantages when you start consuming the organ meat. But it's not for the reason that a lot of people will have you believe. Organ meat is not high in fat. In fact, it's really not high in fat at all. What we're looking at with the organ meat is more of the superfood qualities when it comes down to the vitamins, both water-soluble and fat-soluble, and of course, the minerals. Hey, you are tuned in to the internet's leading performance and nutrition channel with content surrounding ketosis, fasting, high-intensity interval training, and you name it. New videos coming out every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time, and a lot of other videos peppered in throughout the week as well. Hey, make sure you check out highleat.com so you can check out all the latest performance apparel that I'm always wearing in my videos. Okay, so let's take a quick look at organ meat for a second. Is it keto friendly first and foremost? Yes, it's absolutely keto friendly. Okay, very, very low carb with the exception of liver. You just need to be a little bit concerned with liver because we have to remember the liver holds carbohydrates. You see, we store what's called glycogen, carbohydrates that are in their storage form in the liver. So sometimes you can have a liver that has more carbs in it than other times. Now, it's never gonna amount to any significant amount, but if you're looking at like a 200 gram serving of liver, you could have upwards of 10 grams of net carbohydrates. So just be cognizant of that. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna focus on the main three organ meats that you're gonna find, at least here in the United States. That's gonna be the heart, that's gonna be the kidney, and that's gonna be the liver. So let's break down why these are actually beneficial and what you should be focusing on the most. First off, the heart. Okay, so the heart's gonna contain around 115 calories for a 100 gram serving. Okay, it's gonna contain about 18 grams of protein, about four grams of fat, and a negligible amount of carbohydrates, like literally 0.1 grams of carbohydrates. The main benefit that we're getting from the heart has nothing to do with the macronutrients whatsoever. It comes from the coenzyme Q10, more commonly known as CoQ10 or ubiquinone. You see, the whole idea behind CoQ10 is to actually take energy from the proteins, fats, and carbohydrates that we consume and deliver it through what's called the electron transport chain to create energy. So the heart uses a lot of this CoQ10. That's why when you buy a CoQ10 supplement, it says it's good for your heart health because it allows the heart to work a little bit more efficiently because it uses a lot of it. So this means that it's creating a lot of energy. So when you consume something like heart, you're getting a very, very, very bioavailable form of coenzyme Q10. Now CoQ10 also does an interesting thing as far as electricity goes in your body. You see, in the mitochondria where we actually create energy, it creates what is called a proton gradient. A proton gradient is a more complex way of saying it's creating some friction that creates energy. So by creating an electrical gradient, when things transfer across this gradient, they trigger an electrical charge that allows us to create what's called ATP, which gives us energy. This is happening in the heart every single time it beats, but it's also happening in all your muscles every single time you contract them or flex them or relax them. So very, very important, especially on a ketogenic diet, because you want to have that nerve signaling really working well. Okay, so heart is definitely a good one, but probably not the best when you look at the other organ meats. So let's take a look at the second best. This is gonna be kidney. Okay, kidney isn't one that's super popular in the US. It's a little bit of a weird texture, and it's honestly just not that popular overall. But kidney does have some very powerful benefits when it comes down to the water-soluble vitamins of B12 and B2. Now, you might be thinking, I just go and get a B12 supplement. Why do I need to go bearing through actually eating kidney or organ meat? Well, we have to make it very clear. There's a huge difference between taking any supplement, even the highest quality scientifically backed supplements, and getting it from true legitimate food sources. So bioavailable, true water soluble form of vitamin B12 is significantly important on a ketogenic diet. When you're on a keto diet, you lose a lot of water. That means you're losing a lot of the minerals and the water soluble vitamins, and you're losing them fast. Okay, and vitamin B12 is critical for making red blood cells. Red blood cells deliver oxygen, they deliver energy, so obviously very important on any kind of diet protocol, but even more importantly, they allow the building of what is called the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is that outer layer of a nerve, and that's what allows that transduction, that signaling to occur. So if you ever notice on a ketogenic diet that maybe you're not able to get as good of a muscle contraction when you work out, or maybe you just feel a little bit disconnected from your body, it's not because you're low on carbs, it's usually because your minerals are out of whack and therefore your nervous system isn't sending the right signals. So if you consume the right amount of B12, your nervous system can function properly. The other thing we have to remember is vitamin B12 is critical for the pancreas's beta cells. These beta cells are what produce insulin. And even though you're not producing a ton of insulin on a ketogenic diet, you still need to be taking care of it. So again, something you're not gonna get from a supplement form of B12. 
So yeah, sure, you can get it from a supplement, but is it gonna really do everything that you want it to do? There's one other thing that B12 is very critical for, and that's actually recycling our neurotransmitters. See, we have another thing in our body known as SAM-E, S-adenosylmethionine. Okay, maybe you've seen SAM-E on the shelf of your vitamin store before. Okay, the thing is, this is naturally occurring within the body, and B12 combines with that to help what is called the reuptake of neurotransmitters. So things like serotonin, things like dopamine that actually require a recycling and a reuptake. If we didn't have the B12 to work with the SAM-E, we'd feel in a funk all the time. So again, another thing that might feel out of whack. You ever feel a little bit depressed or a little bit down in the dumps when you're on a low-carb diet? It's probably because your B12 or your SAM-E stores are a little bit lower. All right, now let's talk about the major one. Liver. This is the one that you can most commonly get your hands on. It's not hard to get liver. You can get turkey liver, beef liver, whatever. But by far, we want to go with beef liver whenever possible. It's got the highest amount of what is called bioactive retinol A. This is the preformed version of vitamin A. Vitamin A is important, but if you take a regular vitamin A, your body has to start assembling things to actually create it and utilize it. When you get it from the liver, you're getting it in the, what is called a preformed version. This preformed means that it's already formed, it's already bioavailable. That retinol allows your brain to literally create new brain cells. It's called neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. So when you're on the ketogenic diet, you're already flooding your brain with a bunch of ketones, which allows your brain to operate at its best. But imagine being able to add an additional layer to it to truly create new brain cells and really look and feel amazing. So retinol A is not only good for your brain, but it's also gonna boost your eyesight. It's also gonna help your skin and your complexion a ton. And I don't just mean like a little bit. Like if you consume a tiny bit of beef liver and get a good amount of vitamin A, you're gonna notice a giant difference in your complexion and how you look and feel. We're talking 27,000 IUs of vitamin A in literally just a three ounce serving of beef liver. Okay, that is phenomenal. You know that I'm a fan of getting my nutrients from whole food sources whenever possible, but I also know that it's not always practical to get beef liver. So my friends over at Antler Farms actually have a dehydrated form of beef liver that still preserves all of its nutrients and still allows you to get a form of vitamin A that is going to be bioactive. So I wanna make sure you check them out. Huge shout out to them and a huge thank you for making this video possible and also for allowing me to keep my content on YouTube free. Now the only thing that you need to be concerned with when you're consuming copious amounts of beef liver, which quite honestly, you're probably not gonna be consuming copious amounts of it, is gonna be vitamin A toxicity. So you've probably heard of the drug Accutane before. It's used for acne. That's like a mega dose of vitamin A. And obviously you can see what it does to skin. It clears up acne, it clears up a lot of skin issues, but it's extreme and it's toxic. So if you were to ever take Accutane or were ever prescribed it as a teenager or knew someone who was prescribed it, you know that their body was under a pretty toxic load. Well, that's what high amounts of vitamin A can do. But the benefit of consuming liver and consuming retinol in a bioavailable vitamin A form is the body can actually utilize it. So it doesn't have to go through as much of a toxic process where it has to prioritize the formation of vitamin A. So when it comes down to it, if you're choosing an organ meat, I recommend going for the liver. It will make a difference in how you feel, it will make a difference in how you look, and you get to be a little bit more sustainable when it comes down to using all the cuts of the meat. But let's not forget bang for the buck. It's usually dirt cheap. Usually the butcher shops and the grocery stores and everything just throw out the livers. So you can get the livers really, really cheap, like pennies on the dollar, and you're still getting a good amount of protein, you're still getting a good amount of fats, and you're getting vitamins that you would not be able to get anywhere else. Hey, if you want more tips like this, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my channel. Like I said, videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for keto, fasting, general health, high intensity interval training, you name it. So make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my channel and leave your comments down below. See you soon.